But uh, starting with the story splashed all over the front pages today, the long-awaited trial between Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Vardy. Wagatha Christie, as it was dubbed, has uh, it just got underway yesterday. Rebecca is suing Colleen for libel after Colleen accused Rebecca of leaking stories on her. And obviously, it's an absolute determination from both sides to prove that they are right, Janet. I mean, I can't imagine anyone revels in standing in a high court and having to oh, discuss think... your lives and people reading yeah. your text. I mean, to be in this position at this point... I, I want to say, in God's name, ladies, call it off. <sighs> Declare a truce. Because two things are happening. One is it's pretty unedifying. It's not very nice to see women paraded against each other like mm. that. I feel it's not very sisterly to start off with. No matter who's right and who's wrong, who's the winner? in all of this. And to have every item of their clothing picked over, and obviously they've dressed very carefully, they've dressed very conservatively, uh, obviously cham channeling uh, Amber Heard, uh, mm -hmm. you know, using clothes as a weapon in your defence. Uh, I feel they're not going to win anything out of this. And the coverage is also a little bit sexist, isn't it? Mm. Well, if it was two men fighting in a libel case, would it be covered like this? Mm, it is. So I'd like to say, you know, girls, call it off. It's, it's, it's one of those things, though, if you're feeling passionately about, as Colleen claims to have been hurt by the whole thing initially, mm. um, and, and, you know, when it comes to the rest of us in normal friendships, would, would you feel like you've someone's done a wrong against you, Colleen, would you yeah. feel like you have to speak up and have your voice heard against an unjust action? I think you want to have your voice heard over an unjust action anyway, but when it's supposedly from somebody who's meant to be one of your close friends, it's like a double whammy, mm. isn't it? it it's, so, it's so heartbreaking to know, yeah. supposedly, allegedly, that one of your friends has done that to you. And equally, if she didn't, then it's hard for her to, you know, she wants to prove that she didn't. So I, I kind of get it, but it's all just got a bit too big and a bit too messy. I mean, to end up in the High Court costing hundreds of thousands of pounds, for what? Just have the conversation. I mean, they'll never, ever, however it turns out, they're never go it's never going to save the friendship, they'll never be friends again. So, for me, they should have just had the conversation. You know, I can't be a friend, I don't trust you now, blah, 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 let's just call it a day and move on. Because I think by now people are over it and have forgotten about it. It's this that's bringing it back into everyone's... Well, exactly, all the, gris all the grisly detail of who said what, of about who said who. What. I mean, honestly, I think the fact that, you know, from when you go public about those things anyway, that's between a friendship or a friendship breaking it down, it's open for people to make their comments, it's open to go to a next, you know, stage of extreme, which we're seeing in court. But I think when it comes to friendship, Personally, if you feel that the trust has been uh, betrayed, you know, when it's a relationship, someone you're with, you're worried about them breaking that intimacy. But when it's that person, that sisterly bond or brotherly bond, it's about that trust because that's that person you go to mm. about, about things that you're going through, who sees your real self. So when you feel like they have taken the step, the only one to probably break your trust, make money, you know, steal a boyfriend, whatever, not saying that's their situation, it really breaks the foundation of what you've tried to build over those years. I personally think that it's great when people show you who they are so yep. that you can get to a stage and say, OK, I'm in the next phase of my life and mm. this is not going to continue. Is that mm. how you handle things now? And do you think you've changed over the years as well, yeah, Judy, I... where it's easy to go enough and I'm fine without you potentially being in my life because I know I feel like I can't trust you? Can you move on quickly? Yeah, I feel like... Um, I always, I like people to, like I said, show me who they are, you know. We've gone through so much over the last few years and I think I remember reflecting about what my mum would say when I was younger. Oh, you know, it's quantity, it's quality over quantity. And as you get older, that inner circle kinds of thins down. And I think it's, it's so much more about you knowing to yourself you're not right for me right now. I don't even need to argue with you. Yeah, because you can outgrow what you've people. Done. You outgrow people. people. I don't need to argue. Of your life, I can go about my business. And also the idea of settling scores. As you get older, you just think, let it go. Who's there got are more for important that? things in life than who actually said what, and you will never get to the bottom of it no. anyway because most people will not tell you the truth. Yeah, I think it's, it's down to hurt then in a friendship, yeah, isn't it? It's, 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 actually, it's an emotional, hurt. it's really feeling hurt. hurt. It's, it's an awful thing to yeah. go through with someone that you've trusted. Yeah. Particularly, but if it is a long-term friendship, yeah. it's a tough thing Definitely. to overcome, mm. to be fair, isn't it?